Hey guys, it's Johnny. I just wanted to post a quick video to show uh, the new improved uh, SR-71 Blackbird I made. This is the old one here and as you can see it's seen its better days. Uh, last night was the last flight it took. I'm going to retire this plane because it's taken so much damage. Um, call this one a prototype. It, it, you know, There were some flaws on it that I seen and identified and kind of wanted to do away with and make some changes on but this one here is going to get hung up in the hangar and call it retired. But like I was saying, I got a new one. This is it here. Did some changes on it. On this one, uh, I used a lot of carbon, uh, the carbon rods to reinforce it. I've actually got four of them in it. Uh, one on each side of the fuselage, one on the bottom side of the fuselage, and then one going from one wingtip to the next to kind of reinforce it and give it some more strength. If you've seen the other one, you know it's a little speed demon. So this one here, I'm I'm gonna try to hit triple digits on it. So um, another thing too, I did. I wanted to change the color scheme on it because when I was flying this one over here, once you get to be a little far away, you can't really tell if you're up, down, left, or right because the entire plane was black. So it was hard to identify, you know, which direction you were going, and that actually caused me to crash this thing a couple of times. So came up with this new color scheme. That way you can clearly see this side and I'll flip it over here real quick on the bottom side totally different color scheme so it's real easy to see now I did have a chance to fly this one uh, flies very well flies a lot better than the other one did um, didn't have anyone there to, to record any footage at the time so once I get a, a cameraman I'll, I'll post some more footage on it Running the same motor, I got the 2836-2350 by Turnigy, um, 4 cell battery, a 6x55 prop and a 40 amp ESC. Don't have the full range receiver on this one as you can see, I just have a little Spectrum Park Flyer receiver. I also changed the location of the servos on it. Another thing too you can see that I did is the control surface area I reduced significantly. Um, at one point the surface was all the way over here and actually kind of notched upwards here. But I, I think it makes the plane a little twitchy and, and harder to handle and it flies very well uh, after I made the change here. But that's about it guys, I just wanted to show a quick video of the new plane. As soon as I get some good weather and a cameraman, I'll be sure and, and post some more footage of the actual flight. So stay tuned. I'll post a video as soon as I can of the actual flight.